They're having a therapy session. Love to see it. Who's gonna speak first? Probably Lucifer. Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy, you done get it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me. It's like a solar eclipse. Ah, ah. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Leanne of the Coolest at African Geek. Welcome to my channel. What to dive right into Lucifer Season 5, Episode 10. The last episode, God showed up, made Lucifer weirdly realize that he's never gonna be able to tell Chloe he loves her. Maze and Michael have a friendship now. Mirdale has to deal with the fact that his he's gonna outlive his kid and his baby mama essentially Maze took God saying she's perfect the way she is as a backhanded compliment Linda was amazing Ella going through a crisis of identity Dan being a homie to Ella let's just dive right into the 10th episode Lucifer having nightmares now? Or this is an actual sequence of him waking up playing a sad song. It's weird to realize you don't have the capacity to love, but also have a normal human way to react to a breakup of a loved one. <laughs> or he's not feeling the breakup, he's feeling hurting her. Where's Trixie? He's hitting that note though. Then God shows up. Nah, he's really going through the breakup. When is he gonna break the news that he's retiring? So, they're still together. So are they a couple or still partners? I'm so confused. Well, she's trying to make everything work. <laughs> so with poets and death blows. <laughs> Good joke. What is happening? Is this a musical episode? There's no way this is a musical episode right now. God damn, it is a musical episode. What the hell is happening? This can't be serious. This is so weird. Were the fans requesting a musical episode? <laughs> what the heck? Another one bites the dust. Can't beat them, join them. Oh, it's all happening in Lucifer's mind. Oh, it's God. <laughs> God damn. The copyright I'm gonna have to deal with editing this episode. God damn, because they lost the championship, they killed the dude. <laughs> Is he gonna introduce himself? <laughs> Just telling him the truth. He's gonna be like, I like this one. <laughs> she got some issues with God too. <laughs> Shop proofing the house. Oh, they thought the baby would be flying. He's mortal. God damn. <laughs> he can't turn it back. God damn. Why is the mother talking? I think the mother sent the email. God damn, she's one of those parents. Oh, another musical. Probably all the music is going to be cut out of the reaction. So that's why this episode is loud. I'm not the biggest fan of musicals. Finally, the song is over. I mean, like, Tom's a great singer. Everybody's enjoying their job right now. But this episode is starting to feel like a filler episode. Crowd your helicopter. I knew she sent that email. He finally spoke. God damn, she's trying to make him a cop now. Projecting again? You're not breaking through to him, Chloe. He's thinking about something else. So on some keep your enemies close-ish? Does he think mending his relationship with his dad will help him feel more? Say the magic three words? <laughs> oh, Dad. <laughs> Doesn't know how to act. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that's awkward. <laughs> this is the best scene of the show thus far. <laughs> this episode is actually great outside of the musical parts. Ah, oh, not again. Bad to the bone. <laughs> Damn, she's singing no scrubs. <laughs> Hello, <I> heard me. <laughs> this episode is so weird. Juicy juice. Daddy issues galore. <laughs> hey, legit fighting over coffee. They're having a therapy session. Love to see it. Who's going to speak for it? Probably Lucifer. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Man, this is a weird episode. Is she going to... Is she projecting a media deal's argument? She's projecting also. <laughs> She's projecting, man. What is she... What is he doing? 
Take your dad to work, day. It's just over positive now. <laughs> God damn, this shit is so awkward. Is that Solomon Grundy from Gotham? Butch? Desire. God damn. That's not what he's saying, Lucifer. Man. This episode is very funny, very endearing, and very weird. And annoying at times, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Dan is the winner of this episode. <laughs> Dan is winning this episode. You're scaring Dad, man. <laughs> you freaked him out more. Oh, not a musical, of course. But Dan going to hell? It looks like the cast enjoyed himself, though. No more musicals, man. <laughs> the level in which the show is not taking itself serious right now. God damn, he watches Lucifer while he does the nasty. Coffee tastes like chicken. <laughs> Y'all seem like Lucifer's being treated differently to his other brothers. I'm just saying I understand Michael a little bit. There's that random cop that was helping Lucifer in the previous episode playing golf. I won't lie, I totally forgot about the whole ref getting killed storyline. <laughs> you just gave her a clue. How many days has it been since the argument? Oh, another song. Just the two of us. Yo, what would make this shit dope is if the baby started singing. <laughs> I made a deal rap. The musical breaking down here. Does it mean God went to Porter and made a deal? Just watching from a distance. Is he dying or something? God damn, his wife killed him. Oh, he didn't get hurt in front of the detective. But because he's the devil, I can't hurt him. They're just a couple of partners. God gonna show up. So this is how she comes back in the show. She crying because she's saying goodbye to the relationship or what it could have been. What is God doing? Are they gonna have another argument? Say something. Just one more argument to close the episode. He's trying to make you God or Michael God or one of y'all. One more song for the books. I wonder how people reacted to this episode. <laughs> The light bringer, the miscommunication between them. Everybody's trying to get a soul, trying to get fixed. What is happening? Why is he crying? What is going on? God damn. I never expected that twist. God is being all vulnerable and stuff. God losing his power. Crying to his son, the light bringer. After they just sang to each other, what felt like an eternity. <laughs> I, I'm just mad tired right now. I'm gonna end my reactions here for the for Lucifer. Probably react to two more tomorrow. Two more after that, then I'll start posting them Tuesday after I'm done with Blood of Zeus on my channel. Man, I really enjoy the show, but sometimes it's like, goddamn takes itself too seriously, not serious enough. Sometimes the humor lands. Sometimes it's like, okay, you're trying too much. You know what I'm saying? I'm very vested in this show. Five seasons in, I love every character and everybody who knows from watching it on Fox used to watch like 20 something episodes. So the filler episode thing is not something new. It's just not something that works anymore. <laughs> Yo, filler episodes need to die. <laughs> but this one wasn't really a filler episode. Well, at least towards the end, we had confirmation. God's uh, mission on Earth seems to be to understand his power. Maybe because he's been shutting down his emotions all this time. The power is the only thing, you know, thriving in his being. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm I'm just mad tired. But you, I think you get what I'm saying. Shut your emotions down enough. The other parts of you tend to lead the tribe. <laughs> um, yeah. What an episode. I'm enjoying it, but also this was such a filler episode for the most part. Dan stole the show, like I kept on saying. You saw my commentary throughout the episode. I hope I'll be able to 
<laughs> cut the music in a way that I don't get copyright blocked worldwide for this episode. But six more episodes to go. I'm done for today. Deuces. <laughs>